So, I'm your average run-of-the-mill nerd, and I put this bow tie to very good use. <laughs> Meet my audience. Everyone, please, settle down. I know you're excited, but the people in the back have to hear. Thank you all for coming. Hippo, your skin is looking slippery today. Gertrude, your buttons are so shiny, if I do say so myself. Welcome to a reading of the abridged instructions on how to get the hot guy that will probably never notice you. Yeah. Let's get right into it. Now, I speak from experience, so you guys can trust me. Just remember that. Step one, don't ask nerdy questions. For example, don't ask him if he finished the math homework. He'll shake his head, say, nope, then hand you his, his textbook and tell you to have fun. Step two, do your makeup. No matter how many times you stab yourself in the eye with a mascara brush, it'll be super worth that extra glance he shoots your way, even if it's just for a second. Step three, do not at any cost use large words like unrequited and undying passion. Even if that confused look is super adorable, you might overhear him telling his friends that you're creepy in the hallway between third and fourth period. Step four, bat your, bat your eyelashes like in the movies. Ignore him if he asks if you're having a stroke. He's just flustered by your feminine charms. <laughs> Step five, write him sonnets that describe the way his hair shines in the sun and about the way he taps his foot in math class and shakes your desk. He'll stop throwing them away eventually. <laughs> Step six, don't let him know that you talk to your stuffed animals. He thinks you're crazy enough as it is. But you guys won't tell him, right? No. Step seven. <laughs> Don't stare for long periods of time at him. Limit ogling to like 30 seconds or so. If he sees you, shift your eyes slowly. Don't look guilty. Step eight, try not to think about him too much. You'll remember how dumb he is. Step, oh, forget it. What's the point if I can't tell him that his eyes shimmer like the top of the line water effects in Skyrim? What's the point if he can't hold his own in a debate without exercising at least three logical fallacies? What's the point if he just calls me brace face and tries to magnetize my braces just to make his friends laugh? What's the point of writing the instructions if I can't even achieve the end product? I've been pondering these questions for at least an hour past my bedtime, and I've come up with only one answer so far. The hope that maybe just once, he'll stop ripping up and throwing away my heart printed on notebook paper, written with my favorite blue glitter pen, and open it up for once, and just read it instead. Yeah!